All right, morning. Let's get ourselves warmed up. We're going to start with a jog. So just picking those feet up. You can even start with a march. Whatever you need to do, just get that body moving a little bit. <clears throat> Get those arms pumped in, feet coming up off the ground. Okay. Very good. All right. Then we're going to be taking it to a jumping jack next. Okay. So feet go out, arms come up. You need to do a split jack. Okay. It's also a really good option. Heart rate come up, feel the body starting to warm up. <clears throat> four more, four, three, two, and one. Let's take it to hand curls, feet are wide, heels come up. And just pull front to back with the arms. A couple more here. Four, three, two, and one. All right. We're going to do a squat where we come down and touch the ground. So bend over, touch the ground. Come up to a calf raise up on those toes and reach up overhead. We'll go down, up to the toes and reach. Down, up to the toes and reach. Okay. You're still, this is a squat. We're not rounding forward. So we're still sitting back, pressing up through the heels and then coming to the toes. Give me three more. Two. And one. All right, we're going to do a walkout plank. We're going to swim the arms at the bottom, walk it back in. Okay? So come, walk it out, circle one arm. And then the other, and walk it back in. Again, walk it out. Circle one arm, and then the other. Walk it back in. Let's do three more. I want to touch whole body right here. Do one more of these. Come on down. Swim and swim and walk back in. Stand back up when you're done with us. Okay, let's go back to that jog or that march from the very beginning. Okay, getting those arms moving. Are you feeling a little warmer this time? Okay, and it's going to take my body a little bit to. Kind of ease into things. All right, maybe some jumping jacks. Five, four, three, two. Hand curls are next, right here. Heels come up. Going forward. Pulling back. All right, bring these feet underneath. We're just gonna go toe to heel. So what we're going to say, toe to heel. Just warming up those angles a little bit, okay? <laughs> so today, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest before moving on to another exercise. If you have dumbbells or one exercise, you are welcome to add dumbbells too. It is going to be a single leg deadlift. So like this, coming up to reverse lunge, okay? So that would be the one. We're still warming up those ankles. All right? Give me a little arm circle here. Circle the other way. All right, very good. Now just shake it out, okay? 
All right, so we're going to be starting off today. Our first exercise is going to be straight arm jacks. Um, actually, now that I think about it, you could add a weight to this one too. So straight arm jacks. So the feet are going out and in right here. Arms are coming up. So if you wanted, you could grab a dumbbell, hold it in between the hands as the arms go up and down, okay? Um, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds in between, and we'll introduce the next one. The next one will actually be that single leg deadlift. The one I talked about, okay? All right, I will go ahead and grab the weight since I brought it up. All right, 45 seconds of work. Here we go. Feet are jumping in and out. If you want to take it a little easier, you can do that tap out right here instead. Split jack, okay? So this is for 45 seconds. And try and pace yourself. Remember to breathe. I'm remind myself to breathe. And check the time. 15 seconds. Hang in here. Less than 10. And done. Okay. 15 second transition. That next one, though, is going to be that single leg deadlift. Dance hall, reverse lunge, okay? With these, I'm going to remind myself to roll the shoulders back. Okay, here we go. Come down, nice straight back. Make sure reverse lunge. And switch to that other leg, okay? Down and up. Take it back. Nice and controlled, okay? Watching that balance. Take a nice big step back with that lunge. And strong back with the deadlift. That one was not so strong, guys. It's okay. We'll have those wobbling moments. All right, and done. If you have weight, set those to the side. They'll be back at the top of the next one. We're coming down. We're going to be doing a plank up. So we're starting a low plank on the forearms. Come up, up, cross body climber, cross body climber. Okay, here we go. We go down, down. So up, up, cross body, cross body. You can keep it right here. You can speed it up. <clears throat> Just depends on how you're feeling. Down and up, one knee to the other. Trying to maintain a nice, strong plank position. And move up and down. Abs are engaged, glutes are engaged. And uh, all right. Coming up to the top, we're going to do two jacks with the feet next. You can kind of sink into a squat if you'd like. So we count one. Two, and then we do four punches across the body. Again, one, two, four punches across the body. Here we go. Nice. Nice strong wrist on those punches. Add a little bit of a rotation, side to side. Breathe for me. Punch, punch, punch. Nice and strong. Almost done. And we're done. All right, coming down, tricep dip variation. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> You're also, if you want to grab a chair or a coffee table instead, that is an option. What we're going to be doing though is tricep dip, reach for the toes. Tricep dip, reach for the toes. Here we go. The fingers are pointed forwards towards those toes. Okay? And reach. If that reach is too much, you can just stick with. 
like tricep dips. We can even just lift the leg, but not reach, okay? There are a lot of ways to make an exercise work for your individual body, your individual needs. Keep going, bicep dips. All right, stand down for this next one. We're gonna be doing a rotating side plank. So you come to center, down on the forearms, rotate two to the side. If you wanna make this advanced, we're gonna add a crunch, okay? Then we'll rotate to the other side and crunch. All right, come with me. So if you want, you can just do that rotating plank, no crunch. But if you wanna take it up a notch, add that crunch. If you need to do this plank on your knees, you actually still can rotate side to side from the knees. Nice and controlled, maintaining good plank form, activating the core. I keep checking to make sure that I've got my shoulder over my elbow and I haven't rolled too far back. And done. Uh, all right, come out to the top for this next one. We're gonna be doing a jack burpee, okay? So, start at the top, jump and jack, come down, jump the feet up. We're gonna do a jack at the bottom, okay? Back in, optional push-up. If you'd like, you can actually do that push-up with the feet out in that jack, jump the feet back in. Ways to make it easier, instead of a full jumping jack, do a split jack for me. Okay, drop to the knees for that push-up. Modify the knees. Here we go. Jack at the top. Jack at the bottom. Nice and strong. Watching that corn, going it down and speeding it up as needed. Five seconds. And done. All right. Coming down to the ground, we're going to be doing a bear pose or plank. Plank is slightly easier, especially if you don't want knees. Come to all fours, lift those knees up. This is our bear. Then what we're going to do is we are going to reach side and side while trying to keep um, as still as possible. So if I turn this way, it looks like this. Side, okay. Squeeze the whole core, activate abs, back, glutes, to help keep you there. All right, here we go. If at any point you need to take a break, come down to the knees, catch your breath, Totally fine. Just do what you can. Okay? If just holding plank or bear is enough for you, that is also fine. You can cut out those side reaches. Hang in here. I'm going to check the time. 15 seconds. Got this. Trying to watch that rotation, trying to watch myself. Then come down. We're going to be laying down on our stomachs. We're going to be doing a Superman variation. You are welcome to just do Supermans, alternating or regular. But if you'd like to take up a notch, we're going to be doing a double thumbs up Superman. So I'm going to bring my thumbs up like this. They're going to come around the side of my body, rotate and touch, okay? I'll demonstrate, then I'll start our time, okay? So I lift up, rotate around and touch, rotate back, and come down. Same rules of Superman's apply to this one, trying to keep those eyes down. All right, here we go. Lift up, bring it around, bring it back, and down. Lift up, bring it around, forward, and down. Rips as needed. Just do a 
regular Superman. This is a little too much. Here with me. All right, we're done. Coming up to the top. This will be our last exercise of the set. I'm going to get a, a break. So, what we're going to do is we're going to be doing fast feet, but one foot is going out and in like this. Okay. Halfway through, we'll switch to the other side. Okay, so I will keep track of time. Here we go. Out and in. Just one foot going out and in. The other one is just doing that fast speed. Looks like it's on hot goals. Still so standing tall. Arms are pumping to help us go. That's your waist. All right. So, so the other one's going out and in. Out and in. Out and in. For 10 seconds. Hang in here with me. And that. Uh, all right, so now we get that one minute break. Just grab a sip of water, catch our breath. There's us a little pep talk about what we're gonna do this next time around. You know, all the exercises now, and you know how many of them, are, them there are. So feel free to, you know, take it up a notch if you're like, yeah, I think I could do something harder or to take it down a notch if you're like, that was brutal. <laughs> I really need to, you know, recalibrate my life a little bit. That is totally fine. Just keep those feet moving. Try to take, take a couple deep breaths in there. Bring the heart rate down a little bit, okay? So we have 12 seconds. That first exercise is gonna be that straight arm jack. You are welcome to grab a weight. You're also welcome to do this without a weight. This time around, I'm gonna do mine without a weight, okay? But please, if you're feeling it at home, grab one. Here we go. Jump this feet out and in. Arms are coming up. Straight arm jacks. And remember, you can always do the tap out Instead, you're not feeling it, okay? We're breathing. We're going. 15 seconds. Hang in here. And time. All right, single leg deadlift to reverse lunge, okay? Okay, take these slow, really watch your form, putting that nice straight back as you come down, okay? Nice big step back with the lunge. And here we go. Putting it down, stepping it back, putting it down, stepping it back. I always have to remind myself, like roll my shoulders back, so that I'm not rounding at the shoulders as I go forward. It's also a great one, even if it's just body weight, working on that balance, working on that control. Hang in here with me, almost done. All right, I'm gonna keep my knee bent, so I'm gonna do one more. All right, setting those weights to the side. Plank up with the crossbody climber is our next one here. Okay? So coming down, starting in low plank. Up, up, knee, knee, take knee down, down. Up, up, knee, knee. All right. One side, then the other on the knees. 
Shining into that nice plank. Put the rest of the body. You are welcome. Speed this up, or even just speed up the climbers. Okay. Hang in here. Swim for that beat. There it is. Woo. Okay. Coming up to the top. Two feet jacks. Four jacks. Okay. Start with the feet in, the route in, or wait, no. There we go. You want to end with a mat, okay? You can sink down into the squat. You know, for those jacks, if you'd like, you are also welcome to instead do a tap out, tap out, and then your four jabs, okay? Whatever works for you. Try and make those punches nice and strong. Add some rotation to it. Nice strong wrists. Don't want any bent wrists on those punches. Less than five seconds. All right. Tricep dip. Optional toe touch is next, okay? I'm gonna use the ground here. Welcome to the chair, the edge of the table, okay? Whatever works. Starting right now. Dip and reach. Dip and reach. Fingers are, of course, pointing towards the toes. We're reaching. to the other side, optional crunch. Okay. Remember, this can be done from modified plank, or you're on those knees, if you need that. Whichever option you're using, just make sure you actually have your abs engaged, okay? Sometimes we get a little careless, and other body parts and maybe our hips will start taking a lot of the brunt. And done. All right. The next up is everyone's favorite, the jack burpee. So jack at the top, jack at the bottom, optional push-up. You can step it out. You can drop the knees for the push-up or just cut that out. And here we go. Jack, bring it down, jack out. my push up with my feet out in that jack position. It doesn't make you feel comfortable. Take it as slow 
as you need to to remain in control. Breathe. You can just hold the plank if you need to. Yeah, 15 seconds. Five. And down. And down. Double thumbs up, Superman, or just a regular Superman variation. Okay. So coming down to the mat, laying ourselves down. Starting in three, two, one. Lift up, bring those thumbs around, rotate, bring back to the one. Up, around and rotate, up and down. And so with all the exercises, remember to breathe. Don't hold that breath. Try to keep those eyes down. That'll help keep the neck in line. One more exercise after this, then we get that break. Hang in here. And done. Coming up to the top. Got that back seat. One foot is going in and out. Okay. Halfway through. The other one going out in three, two, and one. All right. So one foot going in and out. The other one is just fat feet. Fast feet, not fat feet. Fast feet. My hips aren't cold. Oh, those arms. All right, let's switch to that other side. Other foot goes out and in. So we're bringing some home stretch. This crazy weird little race we're running right now. Here we go. See if you can speed it up. In and out, in and out. And down. All right, minute break. Grab a drink, try and slow your breathing down. Do keep those feet moving still. Follow yourself off, do whatever you need to do. Monday morning, I am coming to you guys live. Um, but Friday, I I'm going to have a pre recorded workout for you guys to do. Um, it'll still be on the calendar. So just go to the link, follow it. It is one, since it is pre recorded, you could start it early. Like if you're like, I'm still getting up at six, even though the world has changed, you're welcome to get up at six or 5 30. You're also welcome to sleep until seven and do it. Okay. So you have a little bit of freedom next Friday with that. Monday, you still have to be here at 6 30 if you want to, if you want to join it on the phone. All right. So we're going to be going through these one more time. Okay. This will be the final time through for these. So just try to give it your all. Um, of course, if you're feeling really gassed out, Feel free to um, use yourself, okay? So we'll be starting in 12 seconds with those straight arm jacks. I'm going to do my final set with the dumbbell, okay? You're welcome to join me. You're also welcome to do these body weight, starting in three, two, and one. You come out, arms going overhead. That split jack also works for your tap in the feet. Out uh, to the side. Keep breathing. Keep being strong. Like I know you all are. Almost there. Last time on these jacks. You can speed them up. There 
There it is. Single leg deadlift. Reverse lunge is the next one. Regroup. Find that balance. Okay, shoulders are back. Stand tall. Here we go. Down. Reverse lunge. Other side. Ooh. Hopefully yours went better than mine. Give myself a pass. I actually already recorded that workout you guys are going to do next Friday. Recorded it yesterday. And it's a good one, just so you know. My body's like, hit two days in a row? What are you thinking? It's important to, all right. I'm going to do the other side just because I already did one on that one. What I was going to say, though, is it is important to give your body rest. Sometimes that means variety. Plank up, cross plank climber. Okay. So I don't recommend that you do hit every day. You're still welcome to exercise every day, but you just don't want your intensity level every single day to be high. Your body needs a break. It needs different motions. Down. 
and done. Let's fight. All right, jack burpee with the optional jack push up at the bottom. Stand on up. So you thought you can do this. Here we go. Jack. Bring it down and out. Optional push up. And you're here. Eyes on the floor. And done. Coming up to the top. To the fast feet. Okay, remember one foot is going out and in. Other foot is just doing that fast foot. Okay. In three, two, and one. Get that one foot going out and in. Out and in. Home stretch, so you can speed it up. Sometimes you should make the arms go, feet will follow. All right, get ready, let's switch to the other side. Out and in. Pump those arms, go, go, go. And all right, get a one minute break. Then we have a couple of additional exercises we're gonna do before we stretch. So we got one minute break. So I'm just gonna give you a heads up on what's coming. So the first thing that we're gonna do it's gonna be a minute and a half of squats, okay? What we are gonna do, I'm giving like thumbs downs over here. Um, so it'll be changing though, okay? So you just have to follow my lead. That's as much as I'm gonna give you on what's gonna happen. Um, if at any point during that minute and a half, you're like, my legs literally cannot take anymore, feel free to stand up, shake those legs out, 
And then if you feel like you can rejoin us, rejoin us, okay? But just see how long you can hang in there, okay? I think my legs are also giving it the thumbs down, but you know, it'll be fine. <laughs> All right, let's bring these feet. Got hip width apart. We're gonna start in three, two, one with regular squats. So sit back and stand up, okay? Starting us out nice and easy. You decide how low you go. All right, we're coming to our first change. Pulse right here. Pulse halfway down, all the way at the bottom, wherever it feels good. And in here. All right, we're going to do jump squats, okay? If jump squats aren't your thing, just squat, power it up, okay? We've almost been at this for a minute. All right, now sink into a squat and hold. We're going to stay here till the end of our time, okay? Sink down. Deep breaths. Sink lower, 15 seconds. Legs are probably burning. Keep breathing more. Sink down more. Five. Four, three, two, one. Woo. Shake it out. Okay. Catch that breath. Keep those feet moving. Want to get our blood kind of recirculating like normal to those legs. All right. One more exercise that we're going to be doing today. This one. I'm not going to give a specific number of reps. I'm not going to give a specific number amount of time. Okay. Well, I will be cutting it off at some point. But um, what we're going to be doing is you're going to see, and this is where the variation is going to come in. I want you to try and do push ups to near exhaustion. Okay. I just want you to push up, push up, push up until you're like, you know what? My arms literally cannot do anymore, or my spirit, or whatever it is, whatever gives up first, okay? I, like I said, some of you are really good at push-ups and maybe go forever and ever and ever. So at some point, I will cut you off and we will begin to do our stretch, okay? You get to choose how you do these. You can do these on knees, you can do these on toes. If you feel like giving yourself a challenge, you can always do like, where you lift one leg or you're doing tricep push-ups, okay? That part is up to you at home. I do want you to try and have good form. So when I say to exhaustion, I mean, as long as you have good form to exhaustion, okay? Like sometimes we can kind of soldier on past that, but they're starting to look really sloppy. You know, our arms are doing weird things. Maybe our butt's starting to hook up. I want as many as you can do with good form. Once you feel that form starting to slip and you can't get it back, call it, sit back in child's pose, okay? Here we go. Set it up. You decide your pace. I'm getting close. All right. Come on in there. Do your 
still going. Awesome, keep going. If you're done, you can sit back in child's pose. Take a nice deep breath. Grab some water. If you're still going, awesome. Keep it up. All right. If you're still going, give me one last good one, okay? You're gonna stand it up. We're just gonna do a wide tap right here at the feet. Just swing those arms side to side, like those limp noodles that they probably are at this point. All right, we're gonna take these arms and take them out and across, out and across. All right, we're gonna start our standing stretch. Just so I'm gonna turn to the side, we're gonna take a big step back, pressing that heel, okay? Bring an arm across the body, plugging it into the chest. And circle right here. So when we do this, we're not like pushing forward a whole lot. You want to try and have um, kind of your hips tucked here, all right? Keep the arm, keep the legs here. Release the arms. Elbow comes up, grab the elbow and gently pull. Stretching out the tricep. Rewarding it for all the hard work it did with those tricep dips. And the push-ups. <laughs> Especially if any of you actually did choose to do tricep push-ups, those are hard. All right, really, let's bring that back foot forward. Take this back foot back, big step, tuck the hip, bring the arm across, circle the wrist if you'd like. And circle the other way. All right, release the arm, keep the legs. Elbow comes up, grab that elbow and gently pull. And release, very good. Stand up, let's take it down to the floor. And take one leg out, other leg is bent here in front, okay? Take this opposite arm across and then reach over the top with that other hand. As we do this, just reach for shin, ankle, toe, wherever is in your reach today. You just want to feel a nice, gentle stretch. No tearing, no pulling. If you're feeling that, please ease off a little bit. Okay, we're going to sit up. Let's take this leg out to the other side. Bring this other leg in, reach across. And over the top. And sit up. Let's bring these legs in front of us. Okay. We're going to bend one, cross this leg over, hug this knee into our chest. If you want to add that spinal crisp, sit tall, take an arm behind, look over that shoulder. Bring it back to center. Cross this other knee over. Hug this knee into your chest. Sit tall to sit hand behind and look over this shoulder. And 
and come back to center. Let's lay down on the ground, rolling ourselves on back. Bring one leg down to the floor. Let's bend this other knee, hug this knee towards the chest. That opposite hand, grab that knee and gently pull it across the body. That other arm is going to lay up to the side, wanting to keep those shoulder blades on the ground. Let's come back to center. Take this leg down to the ground. Bring this other knee up, hug it towards the chest. Take that opposite hand, grab that knee and gently pull it across the body. Only rotating as far as you can, as long as those shoulder blades remain on the mat, on the floor. Bring this knee back to center. Keep this knee here. Bring that other knee up. Hug both of them. Okay, so you can stay here, or you are welcome to take those feet up and be happy baby, whatever feels best to your body. With either option, you can add a little rocking motion side to side. If you did not make it to exhaustion on your push ups, after we're all done here, you are welcome. To go back at it, by the way. Do not let me stop you. Come to center. All right, we're going to release the feet. We're going to go into figure four. So press an ankle over the opposite side, bring the hands around, grab that bottom leg and gently pull. Release, cross that other ankle over the other thigh, grab that bottom leg and jump pulse. And release, bring those feet down to the ground, grab the backs of your legs and gently pull yourself up. Find just a comfortable way to sit here. Bring one hand to the floor, reach up and over. We're going to sit up and catch the top of our head with those fingertips. Gently pulling right here. Release, bring this hand to the floor, reach up and over. Catch the top of those fingertips and gently pull. Try and keep the shoulder down. And release. Bring those hands in front and release those fingers. Push them away and bring them up overhead. Reaching up as high as you can, lengthening to the spine. Roll the wrists as they come down, roll them the other way, and shake it out. All right, two deep breaths. You guys know the drill. Let's inhale up. Exhale down. One more time. Inhale up. And exhale down. Thanks for being here with me this morning. Hope you guys have a great weekend.